everyone, it's Carol. And Bill. And Bill from Be Inspired Market. And I just wanted to show you guys, because Bill is going to be doing the comments. So when you hear that voice in the back, that is him. Me. Keeping up with everybody. Um, answering so welcome. your questions. Yes, answering your questions. So ask away. I'm going okay. to work. He's going to work. <laughs> um, again, this is Be Inspired Market. I'm super thrilled. Um, Stacy had us included in her craft for joy. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let us know where you're from. Uh, we would love to welcome you in. So let me get here so I can help Bill with comments. Um, just to see, I see people hopping on. Danielle did, just did a great craft from Bella the Barnes. So if you guys haven't seen, we are doing a craft for joy. It was hosted by um, Stacy. So Stacy started it off at one o'clock. You guys can go watch the replay. Then it was Lizzie and Aaron, Yvonne from Southern Designs and Finds, Bella the Barnes, myself, and after us will be uh, Vanessa with Albie Crafty. So make sure you guys do full circle and then it ends with Stacy. So um, everybody's got some great giveaways and we're super excited. So welcome. Okay, so we are gonna be working on some summer. Um, I love Lazy Susies. That's what I call them. Oh, they kind of stars. <laughs> if you are new to uh, Be Inspired or you're not, you know I say things wrong. So I call it a Lazy Susie. It's a Lazy Susan. We're going summer theme. It's going to be super cute. That's something you can do. We are free handing a watermelon. So <laughs> let's just hope it comes out to be a watermelon. That's what I said too, ladies. <laughs> I said, you are free handing this? She yes. said, yes. I am. With I am. confidence. With she confidence. Said it with confidence. She said, I'm freehanding this. So let's see if I can. And we'll, thank you for the stars. Yes, I see a ton of stars on here. Thank you for the stars. Okay. And I just pinned a comment. That is our um, website for the blog. Um, also, we do have our shirts and everything else there. Okay. So what I started with is you're going to need this board. I already pre-painted it. We have 30 minutes. <laughs> this is an 18 inch round. You can get it at Home Depot. Home Depot is your best bet. They're less than $7, depending on what state you're in. Oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. Um, so you can get it for $7, if not a little less, depending on where you're from. Lowe's has them too, but I'll be honest with you, Lowe's are a little um, thinner, um, where I like more of these chunky. These make great, I mean, you can make lots of, I mean, you can, you can make a tray with it. Um, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna put handles and stuff on it. So it's 18 inch round, okay? <laughs> We've made like wall hangers out of them before, remember? Yeah, they're so pretty heavy for it if you get a good, yeah, or... and like an anchor or something, you can do that too. Um, so what I used was, we all love our Waverly chalk. <laughs> so I used the Waverly white paint and I just did a base coat on both sides. Okay. Lacey just said, hey, Carol, I'm supposed to be cleaning the house, but of course I'm watching crafts for three hours. <laughs> yes, that's what you guys are supposed to be doing. This is our way of just saying thank you, bringing you guys some joy. Um, you bring us joy every day. So if we could give back, we'd love to do that. Um, you, there's, you know, so many crafters out there. We just, it is community over competition and we're just honored to be a part of that. So, um, okay, so base coat white. And my tip for you is the Waverly chalk paint is a little thicker. So when I put it on, I'll just show you guys. You're repainting it? No, I'm not repainting it. It'll dry by the time I get there. So when I put it on, it's kind of thick and it's for the coverage. If your paint is a little too thick, thick, bleh, <laughs> just use a spray bottle. You can always just a little spray spritz. a little and it'll help. One, it'll help with smoothing out your paint. So if you're using a brush of any sort, it's going to help soothe it up. And it works smooth, really smooth good that, with that technique when you're working on a large project, if yes. you didn't already say that, with, with the chalk paint. Yes. Karen Stokes uh, just gave you stars, and she said, it's because you and Bill are great. Oh, thank <laughs> you. So welcome. If you are new to us, make sure you guys give us a follow. We do DIY crafts here uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, um, and we just have fun stuff happening here. Um, so the color that we're going to start painting our watermelon with is fern. That's from Waverly. Like I said, we're winging it, guys. <laughs> and we're just hoping it looks like a watermelon. And yes, she uses, I don't know if you guys can see it, but she pours her paint when she uses a lot of paint. She pours it in a coffee filter. Coffee filter her, and then sponge. That's her easy way of doing it. But coffee that's a pretty filter. color. That's like a watermelon rind. Oh. Make, makes it good for cleanup. But before we do that, so a watermelon, guys, when you look at things, it's a U. We made a craft up there, that's that's a watermelon from a Dollar Tree craft. So it's a U. 
it, I mean, a stretched out you. A stretched out yeah, you. Yeah, not a. So I'm taking painter's tape because I'm going to kind of eyeball where I want my watermelon to stop. You amaze me every single day. <laughs> Bill said this today. He's like, you're doing what? I'm like, I'm painting a watermelon. So you're freehanding it? She said, yeah, I'm going to freehand it. And then all of a sudden now I see the tape. I'm like, you're so smart. <laughs> So Seriously. we're, we're going to break, we're going to do some stencils on top. So basically this is going to be a lazy Susan. I'm going to show you how to attach the attachment and we're going to put some handles on it and make it super cute. This is for your barbecues. You can set it out for your guest. Um, okay. So I got some paint on here and I'm just, I'm going to press down and make my rind. Just follow. A, a rind isn't perfect either. I mean, I think some people. Have you ever seen a perfect watermelon? That has a lot of paint on it. Yeah, have you ever seen one? So I'm gonna go from here and then I'm gonna go across. Oops, I need to put some more paint, that's okay. Just drag your paint with you. I don't wanna glop on my paint, so it's better to go back. Sherry said, everything I had planned for today has been completely thrown out the window. <laughs> I'm loving this group of crafters today. Oh, that's awesome. We're so happy you guys enjoy this, we really do. Um, that's what it's all about. Amy Simon said, I'm a new viewer. <laughs> liar, liar. We have an awesome community here, so we're super excited for you guys to join us. We okay. are doing a giveaway too, so make sure you sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. That's how you're going to get picked. Sprinkle and comment, right? Am yes, I not? so okay. we normally say spread the honey here at Be Inspired, but sprinkle is more of a popular word. So just to make it fair for those that might come in for the replay or anything like that, just comment sprinkle and our giveaway actually well, you, and i'll get to that in a minute keep painting i just wanted to bring it up so yep because we need to share we want to keep spreading or sprinkling yes. or honeying or whatever you <laughs> want to call it. okay so all you're doing look how easy that is and you can make it a little thicker but look how simple that is it's a u and that's what we're going to keep going with okay I can make it a little thicker if I want to. 30 minutes. Becky said, so nice since we since of you both on Tuesday and Thursday night. Does that mean we get to see you later too? <laughs> well, this is actually our live for today. Sorry, so. Becky. <laughs> if it changes, we definitely will let you guys know. Maybe we'll know. pop on later. Okay, so <laughs> I'm a messy crafter. So let me get some baby wipes and we're going to continue. So, like I said, this is a fun project. It's $6 for the board. You can get it at Home Depot. Have some fun with it. I mean, your kids can paint it. Okay, so now the other color, let's dry this off a little. So while this is drying, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna blend this all together. So our giveaway, like I said, we do lives here, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We do a lot of DIYs, um, crafting, things around the house, things like that. So. We are launching a new Be Inspired with Bill and Carol, where Bill is actually going to craft with us <laughs> um, and do home projects and things like that. It's a community that we're launching July 24th. So our giveaway is for one lucky winner that sprinkles the video, you will receive one year free membership. That's a $200 value. One year? One year. So you will be our honorary Ooh. member. <laughs> um, but you have to like the page so I can tag you and look out for that, okay? So that's what our giveaway is. We're super excited about it. It's going to be this oh, page. This page, um, taking it up a notch. That's what we're doing. Okay, so now the lighter green that I'm going to kind of mix in is the celery. So I'm going to just do the same thing. And it... ladies and gentlemen, if you're on here, sorry, but I'm 236 comments behind. I'm trying to answer questions as I go along, so... Oh, they, some are saying, yes, I sprinkled, spread the honey. Angela said, uh, I bought all the stuff at Lowe's to make a Lazy Susan. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. So I'm just taking a little of my paint. Like I said, it's a you, guys. <laughs> That's all it is. And it's not going to be perfect. Which what watermelons are. Which, yeah, exactly. Watermelons Somebody are said, not. You're making me hungry talking <laughs> about watermelon. So we're going to make, this is a cute tray. Like if you do fruit for the barbecues or things like that, um, you can lay out your fruit with the fruit dip. Who doesn't love, you know what my favorite fruit dip is? Mm, it's the it. one, isn't it? With Cool Whip and, and cream cheese or something. So good. It's yeah. so good. 
the fruit dip and then you dip the grapes in yep. there. Yep. Or maybe it's a watermelon lemonade tray. You're going to bring out watermelon. You could do that too. Just be careful lemonade. that somebody doesn't swing it around. Yeah. So, to blend the colors, I'm going to take some water and I'm going to put it on my fingers and then I'm just kind of blending them in. So it looks a little less, little less um, where you can see that line. Ginger just said, welcome to all the newbies. You will love Bill and Carol. This is one of my favorite craft pages. Ah, thank you. Thanks, Ginger. We appreciate that. We really do. Okay, I'm just trying to get it on my fingers so it kind of blends in better. And just have fun with it. Um, nothing's perfect. Things come out sometimes that, you know, let me get that. Patricia, guys, I'll Patricia, show it to you guys in a minute. You'll Patricia see what I'm talking said, about. What a great housewarming gift. Yes. Or a hostess gift if you're to going a to a barbecue. Who wouldn't love that? And, and it's you, and made with love. When you make something homemade, that's kind of our thing here. And you bring it with the fruit or the drinks on it. You walk in with it. And then when it's time to leave, they go, oh, don't forget your watermelon tray. And you go, no, that's yours. That's yours. We love doing that. I love doing that. Yeah, we no, like. that's yours. Okay, so you guys will see it. I'll show you guys in a second what I meant about the blending. Because it kind of does make it look a little more, I got a little more too much paint up here, but I'm okay with it. Okay, so all we did, two swoops, two swoops so far. Look at that. See, you just blend it, make it look as real as you can. Kayla said, Kayla, you know what? I think she's going to do that. We just don't have a ton of time. She said to to paint the outside rim green also, so you don't see the white. But That would be perfect. Yes, yep. Kayla. Great, yep. great, great advice, Kayla. Actually, I, Kayla we she was talking about that before, um, and I think it was we more of a to time. Our, we listened to our followers. It was more of a time <laughs> constraint, I think. We'll get it. I agree with you. Absolutely. 100%. We love, I mean, that's one thing I will say that about our community, is everybody gives their ideas and their thoughts, and it's absolutely... We love hearing that. Melanie said, oh, I hope I win. I love watching you guys, and Family Feud Night is awesome. <laughs> uh, we do Family Feud Night. Usually it's giving away things that are um, that we've made through projects that we maybe didn't keep. Who was that that, that commented Kayla. that? Kayla. Kayla, perfect. Okay. Boom, so, Kayla. Boom. <laughs> Not your, that, that was a bad boom. <laughs> Carol's boom was like, boom, like a, uh, like welcome, a Paula. fireworks or something. I see one comment. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks. Somebody loved our flip-flop wreath we did the other night. So we've moved on Somebody to asked summer. about your shirt, but it goes by so fast. It's in the pinned comments. If you go to Be Inspired Market, you'll actually see our shirts. Um, there is also the information about um, the group that we're opening up, or you can comment link, and it'll send you information it's nothing other than information susan asked susan asked about the susan she said what do you what would you put on top of it to keep it from getting yucky like the water stains and stuff. i would use polyurethane spray. um you can i would use spray i i'm a fan of the spray but take it outside let your paint cure at least 24 hours let it get in there and then take it outside and then just do a light coat but you definitely want to seal it Okay, I'm choosing my watercolor. Water, watercolor. <laughs> Welcome. And now we're using watercolors. <laughs> Rhubarb. <laughs> so make sure you guys are commenting that you spread the honey or sprinkled. Yes. Um, I don't so, see. I don't see a lot of that. So let us know that you sprinkle. Yes. Let us know that you spread the honey because that's how you're gonna get picked for the giveaway. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. Like Roxanne, we said, Roxanne, we randomly do Family Feud Night. Last Once time a month. On a Friday, I think, wasn't it? We Once a, a month, we try to. Friday. And Carol gives away a lot of the projects that she that she uh, makes yes. over the course of a month. Are we good on time? Yeah, we're good. You're fine. Okay. Who's next? I'll be crafty. Vanessa? I'll be crafty. Vanessa's next. Yeah, okay. Vanessa. <laughs> so this is my watercolor, watermelon color of choice. It's rhubarb. But... Um, you can use, I mean, you could go all red if you want to go red. I've used also deco arts. This one's really good. Crim, uh, cinnamon drop with some white. Um, that's a good color. Uh, Cheryl Ann said it's cream cheese and marshmallow fluff. Ooh. It's the best fruit dip ever. It's something, but it's good. Like yeah. I could just sit there and yeah, I'm a dessert freak. Mm. You know, if somebody, if I went to somebody's but that's house. that's more of a healthier dessert. Cream that. cheese? And marshmallow <laughs> fluff. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's right? Fruit. It's not like we're dipping Oreos in it. <laughs> like, if you invited me to your house and you're like, oh, Carol, I didn't cook. I just have dessert. I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Put a pot of coffee on and Carol's in heaven. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, I'm just doing some hashtags to kind of give it. Cherise said, Carol, quit trying to rush. I can tell you're rushing. Oh, slow down. Slow down. That's what Cherise said. Okay, Cherise. They I want to watch you. Cherise, right? Yes. Okay, let me get this. Shannon oh, said, shoot. I was going to do. Shannon said, Family Feud Night is awesome, and it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, we have fun. I was going to do a bite in here, so let me Ooh. see if I'm going to be able to do that. You crack me up. I'd keep it whole. We'll bite it later. We'll bite <laughs> We might be able to do it. And Eileen said... But do you guys see how simple that is? Ellen said, you crack me up. I like y'all because you're all so real and the crafts are so doable. Aw, thank you. Yeah, that's... I mean, if it's something above and beyond, like, an ability... And it's, it's dry. Not, it's not fun, right? You want to keep it simple. Definitely encourage you to try it. That That's the biggest thing. I'm going to tell you something, though. What? And I know you're not even done yet. That that green looks amazing. Like, <laughs> it looks. I know it's hard for you guys to tell on camera, but I'm being honest, completely honest. I'm honest. It looks like a like, like a, watermelon. a watermelon, right? It looks like a watermelon rind. Good. Okay. You I'm really just... impressed me. I know. I didn't tell him how I was doing it. That's kind of how we work. But see, the spritzing helps if you have a dry area. You can take your paint and you can spread it out a little. But like I said, the trick is when you're doing colors like this, and I'm going to do that too, I'm going to kind of blend it when I get it in there. But who's not going to try that? Try the Lazy Susan, Susie, whatever you want to call it. We got a lot of Susie's. Okay, I'm going to leave this out just in case I see any spots. That's one thing I've learned. Once you put it in the water, you're like, ugh. I missed St it. Stacy said it's like speed crafting. <laughs> it's so hard not to rush. It it's is. Like speed and if you guys are just hopping on, make sure, what am I looking for? Make sure you guys go follow the ladies that were before me. Um, they all had amazing crafts. Everybody. So talented. Uh, so talented. And that's why I said it's, and, and they're to inspire and you I guys. I think what's fun about it is, is everybody has completely different personalities and completely different ways of doing things you know different I mean? styles yeah, yes different styles look how perfect that is thanks for the stars amy simon <laughs> i think amy simon is our top star person okay so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna put some water on my finger courtney said i need an excuse to watch you longer so actually. why don't you guys do it for 45 minutes a crafter next time <laughs> okay i'm gonna actually take a brush my finger for the other part was working and adeline okay. said what i've been missing family feud night <laughs> yes adeline where you been <laughs> that's so funny yeah we, we started that and it was it's been working like everybody enjoys it it's just a night of having fun and I said, and even with our group coming up, nothing is changing on our page. We're just taking it up a notch. Um, Kathy said. With those that want more Bill and Carol. <laughs> Kathy said, I can tell Carol feels rushed. I'm stressing out for her. Okay, I don't <laughs> want to stress you guys out. I don't want to stress you out. That's so funny. I'll, I'll slow down. Well, you got five Vanessa minutes. told me before the. You got five the, minutes. No, I don't. Well, it's 423. Yeah, but we came out late. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh. Danielle was late? Yeah. Danielle. You were standing right there with me. Danielle. And Vanessa even said, Carol, take your time. Oh. So I think we got five extra minutes. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. See, like I said, some of the water took off. Let me get that. Thank you in. for all the stars, guys. Yes, thank you. And the shirt, those comments go quick. I can't physically it's in respond the pin right to it. It's in the pin comment. Um, if you go to the comments and then you'll be able to get to the market. If you're interested in there, that shirt and some others in there. We've too, got some crafting others, so. shirts that are really cute that say like, um, I'm a messy creative or something, which I am messy. Okay. I'm done with everything. I'm fine with the way it works. Looks wherever I have white, I'm going to just blend. But if you guys try this, please, you know, tag us on Instagram. We would love to see your pictures. Um, you can just tag us, hashtag Be Inspired Market. We're there um, on Instagram, on Facebook. You know, there's so many platforms. Yeah, I said it's been such a really fun afternoon with okay. all of you. And all it's right. not over. It's not over. You got I'll Be Crafty after. Okay, let me dry this. Cindy said, 
Your husband has a radio voice. <laughs> he can so be a radio personality. People, Next on 103.5. People always say that, that he's got that voice. Okay, so this is dry. So now, the tray is typically covered, like you're going to put stuff on it. So if you want to, you can do kind of like what we did up there with that. That's a Dollar Tree, like those banners. Um, you can go and individually try. If you look on Pinterest, they have watermelons. You can Google. This is just a paint pen. Um, the only thing with paint pens when you get them, make sure they're going to be white tip. Just hold it down till all the black comes out. Okay? You got to make sure your other paint is dry. And yes, she got that on Amazon. I got it on Amazon. <laughs> I am the Amazon. Oh, good. I'm glad, Tina. You guys are loving it. Debbie said, I need more of Bill and Carol. Ellen says, perfectly imperfect. <laughs> you can't rush perfection, Yvonne yeah. said. Okay, so we're just going to put a couple. Let's see how this is going to go. I'm just going to do just some. Random. Random big ones. And then I'm going to paint that in. You can do the paint. Doesn't again Those have to are be some big seeds, though. I just did them in the middle. I'm not doing them all over. Oh, to show them <laughs> a technique. Just how, to do them how quick. Do you even, that's a big piece of watermelon, actually. Yeah, see. So you just take your paint pen. Sometimes with the paint pens, it's a little more controlled. So you can do that, and then I'm going to add some white. But if you're a very good painter, which I am not, you could take a little fine tip brush also and mm -hmm. just. Do it yep. with some black, and, and you can paint it. But again, time constraints, you know, we were like, eh, let's just go a different way. You yeah, know? we're just doing bigger ones. But you can definitely do smaller ones however you want. This one looks Somebody said wonky. you can get paint pens at Walmart also. Oh, okay. That's good to know. And paint pens take a little longer to dry. So we're going to let that dry, okay? Cheryl yeah. said you need a shirt that says Amazon Queen. Let that dry. Yeah, right? Well, we have a Christmas shirt that's coming back, and it's called... Um, Sing it, honey. Here comes Amazon, here comes Amazon, <laughs> right up my driveway. <laughs> See, everybody's saying I got a radio voice. I have a singing voice also. Somebody said, J Bill, just don't sing. Don't sing. <laughs> he loves to sing. Okay, let me get a little. Normally, I would use my paint pen, but I didn't do the thing, so I'm just going to put a little. Make sure this is all dry. Oh, look at you. Look at you just add that. Ugh, you have such a great eye. Okay, so there we go. Get look, see, look how cute. I was gonna put a drop. Uh, look how cute that is. That is cool. We're gonna add more to it, so don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Look how cute that is. It's a U. How easy. And like I said, if it doesn't come out perfect, if you give this to a host gift, gift or something. Okay. So the colors, if you're just joining, rhubarb is a really perfect watermelon color. Fern was for the rind with celery. Okay, that's kind of what we mixed together. Okay, time out. You got a break for a second? Kathy Pierce just said, in my radio voice, I've seen several watermelon versions, but so far, Carol's is the hottest. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I so love it. This is an stem a, a stencil. From Essential Stencils. I am a brand ambassador for them. So if you are interested in a stencil, you can comment stencil um, and you'll get our discount code. But if you have a Cricut, you can cut out a stencil from there. And if you don't have a Cricut, you could always just go ahead and freehand it if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to get this on here. It's just going to add something to the top of this. Okay, so when you do stenciling, you just want to make sure those are dry. Your other parts are dry. Oh, that is going to be awesome. And I'm that going to show so you. So cool. $6 part um, round. Piece of wood from Home Depot. I have my black paint. Black works best. You still good on time? Yeah, you're good. So don't forget. They're our, telling you not to rush. But our giveaway is a one-year membership to our new group that we're launching on July 24th and if you comment link you can get on our email list that's just gonna let you know when we open up because it's only gonna be available offload offload offload, offload. so these with, are just stencil brushes and with stencils less is more more yep you less guys saw I dipped more. it in and then put in the 25 cents actually 
He's going to do it a little different, but I'm okay with that. If it looks a little blank, I can always go back. You see, I didn't even dip my paint. No, you did it. That's what I, I only did it dip. once. With stencil brushes, when you do stenciling, it's important to use a stencil brush because it soaks it up into the bristles. And that's really what I'm using. I'm pushing down. Gail loves your seeds. She oh, said they thanks. Were awesome. Like I said, it's going to be covered up anyway. But if you wanted to do individual seeds like that one back there, go for it. Whatever works for, for you. I personally like seedless watermelon. <laughs> I don't like to spit those seeds out. Hey, Paula, I, I am amazed by her. Paula said, Bill is so encouraging and amazed by you. I, She doesn't. She always gives me just a little heads up of what she's going to do every single live. And then I'm always Let's like, see if oh, I want to do. How is you she? know what? I'm going to use this. If it's a little too dark, I'm this is like, the cinnamon how is she, red. How is she going to do this? And then I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. And then all of a sudden, when she starts, I'm like, okay, you blew it out of the water. <laughs> There's times I literally jump up from this chair in front of this computer, and I'll give her a hug. Like, literally, I go, I don't know <laughs> okay, what to do. that brush is a little it. too stiff. Oh, a little too stiff. Okay. Cheryl said, I came on late. How big is the circle? 18 inches, 18 Cheryl. inches. 18 inches, and it's from Home Depot. Usually they're out towards the bottom shelf in all the, the cut up pieces of wood, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get, it's kind of giving this ombre look to it. I like that. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah. But it looks okay. So, with stenciling, like I said, how easy was that to paint? Don't be afraid. Try something different outside of your comfort zone. You'll be surprised. And the satisfaction of giving something homemade to somebody as a gift. Okay, almost done. And then we have a reveal, and I'll show you guys how we're going to attach this. Debbie said, how do I find out more information about your shirts? Uh, it's in the pin post. Beinspiredmarket.net. Can't is they comment our, something, too? Um, they can comment info. Info. Comment info, Debbie. Info. And that would give you information, too. Okay. Patricia said, looks like Walmart and Home Depot will be getting some <laughs> of my money this week. Okay, that one is a little red, so let me just get it. Oh, hey, guys. Guess who just showed up to the door? Amazon! Amazon! <laughs> Second time today. Amazon. I don't even know. Bill always says, what did you order? They were here at, like, 7 o'clock this morning. Okay. Oh, that looks so cool. Look how cute, guys. Look how cute. And I'm going to put something up there because that is a little kind of blank. I can always put something, whatever. They have watermelons on that stencil. How cute is Lauren that? Lauren said, can you list what you use today, please? Yes, I could go back definitely and list for you. Um, make sure you follow the page. What I'll do is I will post later um, and I will show you. Are we good on time? What time is it? Uh, 4.32. You're perfect. Yep. So... <laughs> That's our front. Isn't that cute? I see all the hearts. Thank you for the stars. Uh, make sure it's dry before I flip it over so I don't smear it. I love that pum uh, pumpkin. That <laughs> it's a watermelon, people. Watermelon it's a watermelon. Awesome. That watermelon is awesome. It's cool. I said I wanted to put a little bite in it, maybe not to have it so... Um... So, what you're going to need to when you go to Home Depot... Beth is, said, I love it even more than I thought I would. Carol, that's <laughs> fantastic. This is a Lazy Susan. I got mine off of Amazon, but they do have, where's the one that we had earlier? Oh, over here. They have these at Home Depot. They have these at Home Depot. These are $4. Um, just ask anybody at Home Depot. So this is a Lazy Susan attachment. This one's a lot cheaper than this one. I like this one because it's a little more sturdy, but you can definitely use these two. And then on this smaller one, we usually put like little rubber feet on the bottom of it so yep. it doesn't slide around on your table or your picnic table, okay. wherever you're going to put it on. But you can get those little rubber feet that go on there. So all we're going to do, I'm using the power drills, lady. You want to make sure you have it centered. Anybody can do this, I'm telling you. I'm going to just put... Yeah, put pressure on it. Go start slow. Go the right way. Nope. Flip the switch. There you go. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Use it the right way. Give yourself some pressure. That's empowering. <laughs> um, there's a couple screw holes in here. But remember, you're gonna you only have the four screws, so you're gonna want to space it out. Okay. Yep. I mean, because really, you could even hold it with just two. You're not. Two. I'll do two. For there's now. nothing that's gonna put pressure on there. Where did you get the stencil? 
The stencil is from Essential Stencils. Mm -hmm. If you comment stencil, you'll get information on it. But I only put two. I would normally put four. And, and I'll we do will that afterwards. Camera. But look how cute. And then you got your little tray. Now you can jazz it up some more. I'm going to do this off camera. But these are handles. Check your Goodwills. This was from Goodwill. It was originally from Target where Goodwill people. <laughs> $3.99 for like a whole bunch of them. I think we got 12 of them in 12 there. 12 of them in there. You can add your little um, handles to this. Can you You can make it? it into a tray versus there the Lazy go. Susan. Um, but how cute is that? And then you can, again, you'll seal it so you won't put the handles on until you seal it. Take it outside, seal it, let it sit 24 hours, and then seal it, let it dry, and then you're, it'll work. It'll, it's perfectly fine to put anything on their bowls, drinks, things like that. I'm so. definitely going to do this. I love Lazy Susans. Carol, Good. I love your craft. Stencil, stencil, stencil. <laughs> Are you going to seal it? Yes, yes. off camera, Christina yep. Fox, we're gonna seal it. We're gonna seal it. So just some paint, some imagination. Um, have fun with it. That's what we love to do here. We love to inspire you. So thankful for um, Stacy to include us today in the Craft for Joy. Make sure you guys go check the ladies before us. Um, Vanessa from I'll Be Crafty is next. Make sure you guys go do that. And even for the replay, continue to sprinkle, spread the honey, because we have our giveaway for a one-year membership to our group that's launching. Okay? All right, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun. We did, too. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Be safe, and yep. thank you for the stars. Yes, thank Thanks you. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.